hello everyone welcome to solve this nice algebra problem and here we have m cubed minus m square equals to 18 and we solve this problem for the values of m so here the very first step we are going to do is where here first we move this 18 in the left hand side and it is written as m cubed minus m square minus 18 equals to 0 and now uh, further uh, here uh, we break this minus 18 and we write this minus 18 in this form m cubed minus m square minus 27 and plus 9. We know that minus 27 plus 9 is equals to minus 18 and this whole equation equals to 0. And now in the next step uh, here uh, we just uh, uh, rewrite this equation as m cubed minus 27 and here we take common minus sign from these two terms and we write it as minus times of m square minus 9 equals to 0. So in the next step uh, here we again rewrite this equation as in this form m cubed minus we write this 27 as 3 cubed minus we write this equation as m square minus we write this 9 as 3 square and this whole equation equals to 0. So after that uh, here we need uh, two nice formulas the first is cubic formula and the other is square formula. So uh, we know that if you have a cubed minus b cubed it is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square so here we use this cubic formula to the first factor and we have a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b here we use this nice square formula we need this formula to the second factor so uh, after that uh, we uh, now we apply these two formulas to the uh, above equation so first we apply the cubic formula and uh, it is uh, according to this these numbers we have uh, m minus 3 times of uh, m square plus uh, m into 3 and plus uh, 3 square and minus this is m square minus 3 square it is equals to m minus 3 times of m plus 3 and this whole equation equals to 0. So now in the next step you see here we have m minus 3 and m minus 3 be the common term so that we take common m minus 3 and the remaining terms are m square plus 3m plus this 3 square equals to 9 and here we multiply this negative sign on both of these terms and it is written as minus m minus 3 and this whole equation equals to 0. Okay, so uh, now here we need uh, some simplifications and uh, uh, so we write it as m minus 3 times of m square plus plus this 3m minus m equals to 2m and 9 minus 3 equals to plus 6 and this whole equation equals to 0. So here uh, we divide uh, the, this equation into the two cases. So the first case is we take m minus 3 equals to 0 and the second case is we take m square plus 2m plus 6 equals to 0. So now from first case we easily get the value of m equals to 3 okay so this is the our first uh, real solution which we get uh, from above equation and now here we need to find the other two solutions so in order to find the other, other two solutions we need to solve this quadratic equation. So here we use the uh, quadratic formula in order to solve this quadratic equation so first we write here uh, the coefficients of this equation and we know that the coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to 2 and c equals to 6 and we know about quadratic formula it is stated as m equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac 
and it is divided by 2 times of a. So this is the over uh, quadratic formula and now the time to substitute the values of uh, a, b and c in this quadratic formula. So here first we substitute the value of b. So this is minus b, the value of b is 2, it is written as minus 2 plus minus square root of b square so b is 2 square minus 4 times of a c a is 1 and c is 6 and this is divided by 2 times of a and our a is 1 and now in the next step uh, here we need some simplifications of this uh, quadratic equation and we have m equals to minus 2 plus minus square root of this is 2 square and we know that 2 square equals to 4 minus this 4 times of 6 becomes here 24 and this is divided by 2. So here we write our answer into the simplified form. So uh, here we do all those steps uh, in which we get our simplified answer. Okay. So here we have minus 2 plus minus square root of this is 4 minus 24 equals to minus 20 and it is divided by 2. So now in the next step we have this is minus 2 plus minus here we break uh, this radical sign and we write uh, separately on both of these terms. This is uh, square root of 20 into square root of minus 1 and it is divided by 2. So now in the next step uh, here we have this is minus 2 plus minus we write this 20 as 4 times of 5 and we know that uh, the square root of minus 1 is equals to iota and this is whole divided by 2. And now after that uh, here we need to uh, break this uh, square root sign and we write it as minus 2 plus minus square root of 4 multiplied by square root of 5 into iota and this is divided by 2. And now in the next step uh, we have minus 2 plus minus we know that the square root of 4 is equals to 2 into this is the square root of 5 into iota and this is divided by 2. So now here uh, the time to break this fraction and we write these, this fraction separately in this form minus 2 over 2 plus minus 2 into square root of 5 over 2 into iota. So we have m is equals to this is cancelled out by this one and we get minus 1 plus minus this is cancelled out by this one and we get square root of 5 into iota. So these are the other two complex roots of the given equation. So because uh, if you focus on the given question statement, uh, our given question statement is cubic equation. It means that its highest degree is 3. So we find the three roots of this given equation or this given equation has three roots. So uh, those three roots are in which the one root is uh, two roots are complex and one root is real and its real root are m equals to 3. So these are the three roots of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.